feature people. It is the 5th of September, 2023, and Victor has a demo. Victor, take it away. Okay, let me share my screen. Also, as a warning, this isn't very different from yesterday, but from last week, rather, but stuff works differently, which is cool. Uh, now, when you go, you have like this little secret panel here. I added the value thing, even though it kind of doesn't work still. It's being like, it's being sent nowhere, but it's important to have it visually. And I do think we can like the risk, the opportunity by just having a value field that's just text JSON without like doing the, the like the more complex prop tree thing but anyway i'm going to create a test secret one over here and i don't know if you've seen this was grayed out because we like we all we since this is requesting to the server now we have all of the things that you respect from the store so like there's like a transitional state and when things get saved the id gets brought over and then we actually have the real value here uh and that's let's create a yeah this description something like this and when I open up the region, it's loading up the mocks list. And this is our go. So if you click it, you'd bring it over here. You can create stuff from here too. Kind of like that like button, the create in the top right flow. Oh, this isn't working. But yeah, this is a good interaction, right? I like it too. Yay. Mm -hmm. mm, weird. Anyway, you can also delete secrets from the list. So, oh, nice. Yeah, and this is all being saved. I don't know if you noticed, but this is all being saved on server side, but this is like a, a static array on the back end. So like every time you actually restart SDF, it's getting, it's getting wiped, but it gives us some flexibility on like, we can actually use this as if it were something more static, right? Something that was saved to the database. And yeah, I think to show off, that's basically it. Right. Looking good, coming together.